hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous few tutorial as you remember we have successfully uh, displayed the total number of posts which an online user updated that is let's say i update three posts then it will appear on our main activity as you know that here on our home page or you can say on our home activity or main activity we display the post from all the user who are using this social networking app which you are developing using Android Studio with Firebase. Now, in this video tutorial, what we're gonna do? All we need is to display my own post. So, if I go to the post, you can see that we have displayed a total number of posts and total number of friends in the previous few tutorials. Now, in this video, when a user click on this post, then here we will uh, display all my posts. That is, let's say you are an online user, so when you click on this button, then all of your three posts will be display. okay? So as you know that uh, till now I have updated three posts, which I showed you in the previous few tutorial. Now we have to individually display all these three posts, which I updated, so that I can know what are my posts, okay? So yeah, let's do that. So go to the Android Studio, and first of all, uh, here we need to go to the my my post activity which we created in the previous tutorial you can see that this is basically an empty activity we have just created this in the previous tutorial and here we have this my posts.xml file so click here on this text and first of all uh, let's change this uh, android constant layout to a relative layout so we can say here a relative layout you can see that again okay, this is our relative layout and now first of all we need to add here a uh, app bar layout or you can say the the app bar with the back button so for that as you know that uh, we have created this uh, app bar layout in the very first video tutorials if you remembered okay so this is our app bar layout code and now all we need is to include this here on our activity my post so what we're gonna do we can say include first let's close this okay and now here inside this we can say layout and the layout name is app bar which is this one layout slash app bar layout so you can see that it uh, appears here okay this is our app bar layout now we have to give it some unique id for our my post activity so we can call it as uh, my underscore post bar layout so this is the id for it and now to include this what we're gonna do we can simply uh, go to the my post activity dot java file and here we can say private toolbar and let's call this as M toolbar and inside our own create method here we can say M toolbar equals to toolbar point view by id or dot id dot my post bar layout and as you can see that uh, there appears an error so for that you can simply click on this m import and here you can see this android widget toolbar so after this android all you need is to put dot support dot v7 dot widget toolbar you can see that and the error is gone successfully so if you got this error then do the same which i did here okay so your error will be gone successfully now here we can say set support action bar m toolbar get support action bar dot set home this set display home as up enabled to true get support action bar dot set display show home enabled true 
so it will add a back button also and also we need to give it some title so you can say get support action bar dot set title and the title will be my post yeah that's it and now uh, for the back button we need to go here to the manifest file click on this android manifest.xml and the name for that activity is my post activity so what we're gonna do you can simply click here I mean here okay and press enter and here we can say parent Android parent activity name so this is bas this basically means that when a user click on that back button then we want to send the user to the main activity so add here the main activity so yeah that's it and now what we're gonna do let's uh, run the app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the profile and let's click on this post and you can see that the title page is my post and if I click on this back button then it sends us to the main activity now that's it for this video and in the next video we will add a recycler view to retrieve all my posts I mean the user who will be online so all of his posts we will retrieve and we will display it there so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel Coding Cafe make sure to follow me on Twitter Facebook and Instagram